After months struggling with numerous health issues, former President Li Denghui passed away on Thursday evening at the age of 97. Doctors at Taipei Veterans General Hospital confirmed that his wife decided to turn off life support after Li's condition took a turn for the worse earlier this week. The presidential office has announced that starting Saturday, there will be a public memorial space at the Taipei Guest House. Funeral arrangements for the first democratically elected president President of Taiwan are still to be confirmed. Early on Friday, the American Institute in Taiwan was the first to lower its flag to half mast in honor of Li's passing. At 12 noon, the presidential office and other official and educational institutions nationwide followed suit. The flags will stay lowered for three days. The presidential office held a meeting to decide on next steps. To allow the nation and citizens in every field to mourn, the president has decided to create a memorial for the late President Lee at the Taipei Guest House. Memorials will also be created at our country's overseas offices. With regard to the funeral arrangements, such as the farewell ceremony and the funeral ceremony, we will draw up plans in forthcoming working meetings. After discussions with President Lee's family members, we will make a joint public announcement. The meeting was chaired by Presidential Office Secretary General Su Jiaquan. The heads of the Interior, Foreign and National Defense Ministries were present, as well as the President of Academia Historica and President Lee's daughters, Annie and Anna. Lee's final resting place has not yet been revealed, but sources indicate Wujer Mountain Military Cemetery may be the pick. President Lee's relatives have already had a certain amount of discussions with the Interior Ministry, including on topics like whether to choose Wujer Mountain Military Cemetery. I believe that in light of President Lee's service to Taiwan and his former position of Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, this would be an excellent choice. He was in hospital for a total of 174 days. He suffered from numerous infections and eventually septic shock and multiple organ failure. Despite the best efforts of our medical team, we were unable to save him. In recent years, President Lee was suffering from cardiovascular problems, tuberculosis, and diabetes. In February, he was rushed to hospital after choking on some milk. He developed fever and multiple inflammations, but was cared for by his loving family. He was extremely frail, but he was still able to look at photos of his great-granddaughter and videos. He would watch steadily, very clearly aware, following the footage. It was very moving for the nurses to see. But doctors revealed that President Lee was unconscious for the majority of his stay in hospital and was on mechanical life support. When his condition worsened on Monday, his wife Tsung Wenhui decided very reluctantly to turn the machine off. She was there holding his hand until the end. Yes, because his wife was distraught. Of course, it was a natural death, but he was attached to breathing apparatus. We removed it for him. On this occasion, he gave us a different kind of lesson aside from medical care. That was how to reflect on the meaning of life together with his family. Life doesn't last forever. When the time comes, we must let go. The memorial at Taipei Guest House will be open on Saturday, August 1st and stay open every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. until August 16th.